Beloved friends, good evening. Thank you, yes. Every time I am invited to give closing remarks, I am awed not only by the performances I have just heard, but I am especially overwhelmed that I am given a chance to say a few words which might inspire our young performance even just a little bit more. Tonight is no exception. What we have just heard is a third generation of young musicians. These musicians, teachers, and mentors are among our scholars and alumni that we trained and graduated from the Salvador and Pilar Sala Foundation's pioneering music and orchestra development program initiated in 1991, 25 years ago. The Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra, or CYSO, a result of the Sala Foundation Initiative, was launched in 1995. Then it evolved into the Peace Philharmonic Philippines, or PPP, in 2000. Unfortunately, really, really unfortunately, lacking funds to maintain the PPP as a regular monthly paid orchestra, it became an orchestra on call performing only as benefactors appeared to sponsor events. Sala Foundation, however, continued its training and performance initiatives <clears throat> through its PPP Junior and some activities throughout the years. In the meantime, many of the original Sala Foundation scholars went on their own doing various activities, performing in orchestras in Manila, abroad, on cruise ships. Many started teaching in schools abroad as well, and many opened their own music studios in Cebu. Tonight's conductor and founder of the Classic Orchestra Music Studio, or COMS, C-O-M-S, and its attendant orchestral group, the CYO, or Classic Youth Orchestra, is a shining example. Ray Abellana, one of our first Sala Foundation scholars, did it all. He went through the CYSO, through the PPP, through many of our provincial tours. He even had Japan stints from way back then, from more than 20 years ago, while he was with us as a scholar of the foundation. After 2000, Ray played with several Manila orchestras. He then went on several cruises as a performing musician, visiting many countries and, believe it or not, over 200 cities. He saved up his remuneration and allowances to buy instruments. After nine years of ship cruising as a musician, he settled back in Cebu and married Geraldine, another Sala Foundation flute scholar. They have a daughter, 10-year-old Angel, a budding musician herself, who also performed in tonight's program. In my opinion, Ray is a man of vision, a man of dreams, and a man ready to sacrifice to achieve his dreams. He and his wife, Geraldine, founded their music studio which, as the name implies, Classic Orchestra Music Studio, C-O-M-S, had as its main thrust the establishment of a classic 
orchestra. Tonight, we experienced the fruition of that dream, the launching of the classic youth orchestra, the CYO. Serendipitously and fortuitously, I am still around to witness this dream come true. And refreshingly, Conductor Ray has invited me to be the CYO's first piano soloist at tonight's inaugural concert. Thank you, Ray, wherever you are. I don't know where you are. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Thank you. In self-interest, however, I see Ray's establishment of his music studio and now of this CYO, the Classic Youth Orchestra, as the virtual continuation of Sala Foundation's pioneering developmental efforts started 25 years ago. The efforts of Ray and of his former colleagues at Sala Foundation have enriched the Cebuano cultural scene by their own continuing performances and their own individual music studios, passing on the tradition of teaching of 20 or more kinds of orchestral instruments, which we initiated in 1991. Cebu's music legacy is assured. We are proud of all whose commitment <clears throat> and passion for good music and its value and beauty make not only our Cebu City unique, but it is also helping to build a strong and beautiful Philippines. It is generally known and accepted that when we are born into this world, we come into it alone. And when we leave this world, we also live alone. It's a fact of life. Yet in my case, I feel otherwise. As I coast along now, in my mid-70s, I know I am not alone. I have 16 biological grandchildren from four children. I have over 100 musical children, products of our Sala Foundation Music and Orchestra Development Program. From these over 100 musical children, I now have hundreds of musical grandchildren, about 100 of whom you have heard, met, and empathized with tonight. Again, at the risk of being repetitive, I would like to say Cebu's cultural heritage and legacy has been assured through these, our musical children and grandchildren. Our dream started 25 years ago in 1991, has grown full circle through two generations. The effects of our efforts have not been ripples. They have been tsunami-like waves. Our first graduated alumni in the year 2000 either established their own studios and or are teaching here and abroad. They are performing everywhere in various capacities. They have gone on numerous outreach activities. 
They have been invited to teach and perform in important festivals and regional and world youth cultural gatherings. They have done the Philippines and Cebu proud. They have added sheen and glitter to their families' names and pride. They have made themselves their own persons. They have actualized themselves. They have made their creator proud and happy. They have made themselves the best they can be up to this point. Although best does not mean, does not have a time limit. Best means to keep growing better and better all the time. We here, therefore, pay tribute to those who stand behind these musical heroes. Everyone here tonight is either a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, a cousin, a friend, a classmate, a teacher, a neighbor, or even just music fans and admirers. Very special mention and grateful acknowledgement must be made to our faithful media friends from Cebu and Manila. Talent, real talent, is always to be admired respected, and hopefully nurtured. If one had a budget of 10 pesos, although that would be difficult these days, but anyway, this is allegorical. A budget of 10 pesos for food, shelter, clothing, education, transportation, entertainment, and such, one should really reserve at least one peso to give and to develop the one among us who would seem to have a special talent. Any of the arts, especially, is precious, priceless, princely, permanent, a prerogative. It can be a key to many doors. It can uplift not only himself, the person with the talent, but all those around him, his family, his community, even his nation. He assumes a special role in nation building through his discipline, focus, and determination in honing his craft and art. And then, he participates in social orientation by refining those whose lives he touches. He becomes a torch bearer upon whom others find their way. In closing, in my humblest capacity as a musician, who wanted to have our youth and communities live with beautiful music in their souls and hearts. I salute the classic youth orchestra, CYO, on its grand launching concert today, as well as its founder, conductor Reynaldo Abeliana, and all of tonight's participants. In behalf of CYO, therefore, I thank each and every one of you in the audience tonight who have shared this glorious moment with us. Bravo, CYO. Bravo, Cebu audience. Thank you.